These days, the whole world has an aging problem. China certainly does. It has 200 million people over the age of 60. By 2050, the number could grow to nearly 500 million, or one quarter of the world's senior population. Keeping them healthy, happy, and out of China's woefully few old-age homes is an economic and political imperative for the Chinese Communist Party. One way to do that by sending them back to school. In fact, China has a vast network of schools for the elderly, nearly 50,000 of them in all, from street-level classrooms to entire universities just for old people. Here at the Shanghai University for the Elderly, retired people can study everything from cooking to calligraphy, traditional painting to traditional instruments. They can also get lessons in the more modern arts, like how to get a good bargain on Taobao. The Chinese version of eBay. I学了很多东西呢在这儿电脑我从初级电脑综合利用就是综合运用开始我已经学到现在我买的衣服我基本上都是在网上买的没有时间去逛街所以我在这里学了淘宝以后我就觉得很方便 But elder education centers like this one aren't just meant to teach people things. They're meant to help Chinese seniors bridge the gap between a world where everyone lived together in cramped but tightly knit neighborhoods, and a world where many live in high-rise flats, often on their own, apart even from their own children. 因为我们现在老年人呢越来越多，那么老年人的精神、文化、生活上面呢有很多需求，其中有一个就是关于就是精神上的需求，他们要需要学习。Wilson Song teaches an English conversation for travelers class at the University for Seniors. It's so full of people having a good time learning foreign languages that it's even hard to get in the door. Many of these seniors could not have hoped to travel overseas when they were young, in Mao Zedong's China. Give me all your money, or I'll kill you. Give me all your money, or I'll kill you. Okay, here is the money. Okay, here is the money. Only twenty dollars. Only twenty dollars. Only twenty dollars. For elders around the world, depression can be a problem. The world after work can be a place of loneliness, boredom, even illness. But the old people here at the Shanghai University for the Elderly say they're just too busy to be depressed. And the price is right too. Taking a class like this one, which teaches you how to buy things on Taobao, can cost as little as one meal out or a single visit to Starbucks. No wonder many of them say they never want to graduate. Patty Waldmeyer, Financial Times, Shanghai.